Talk about being behind in everything. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. Holy Hannah, am I behind? I am so behind. <laughs> but that's the story of my life. I was just telling a friend that usually by about the beginning of fall, I'm just getting my backyard ready for summer. <laughs> This, uh, I have to start telling a new story. I'm on top of things. I got it going on. I'm ahead of schedule. That's the story I, I need to tell. This lovely gift has been sitting here waiting to get attention since November, mid-November. And it is from my, my lovely friend Amy at Doki Doki Forest. You'll recognize her fantastic art right off the bat. This is part of the harvested mag swap hashtag that Amy at Doki Doki Forest, Jean Bainey, and myself have been working on for several months now. And I think at the bottom of this pile is part of that mag swap, but she sent all this extra goodies, so I thought I would share it with you. Again, this wonderful dragon. Look how fun that is. Oh, look how pretty. Ooh, shiny washy. Woohoo! Look how gorgeous. Let's see. Dogs swimming. Happy, happy, happy dogs. Again from Trader Joe's. They have a lot of fun stuff at Trader Joe's. Oh, look at goodies inside the card. <laughs> I didn't include too many goodies this time because I wanted to try to get these autumn magazines out to you before Thanksgiving, which she did. I just... Ah, oh, have dropped the ball. Hope you're having an awesome day, my friend. Love, Amy. Let's see, we have a cash receipt. Cute little cash receipt for $21. Some kind of transaction. Oh, another tag slash ticket. Some really cool labels. Oh, more shiny washy. Look at that. Oh, bunnies watching fireworks. So cute. I don't know if we can do it with this. I think they're bunnies. Yeah, they got bunny ears and little sweaters on. Aren't they cute? And some really cool uh, fireworks and or flowers. Oh, a little kayak on the lake in the, in the autumn. One of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite times to kayak is in the fall when all the leaves are changing and the weather is still nice, you know, it's warm enough to go kayaking. I love it. And some vintage map papers. Stick, yeah, I think they're papers, not stickers. Very fun. Lots of toys to play with. <laughs> Look at, I don't know if you can see his, he's three dimensional. Oh, how fun is he? And I know we're we're headed fast toward Easter and things are people are talking about spring and I'm still jazzed about the Christmas thing. He came again mid November mid November. She was way on top of things. I just am slow on the roll. Oh look how those snowflakes dance and change. Oh that is so fun and he's adorable in his little mittens. His mittens cool little pen. Oh, this will be fun. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be my Christmas wish list. So when people ask me, I can write down stuff throughout the year and maybe I'll know what to say. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. Thank you, Amy. What do we have here? Dogs, dogs, dogs. Yes, please. Look how cute he is. Smithsonian Kids, level one. I can handle it. I, I think I can handle it. Oh, look at all the wonderful things. If, if I decided to cut this up, which I don't know that I would have the heart to do. Look at, we could spend all this whole time on this one book. Oh, they're wonderful. Oh dear. There's his tongue sticking out in case you're having a hard time. Ooh, that puppy needs a, a blowout. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These pictures are fabulous. Sleeping Mabes, little corgi. I like to show off their little corgi butt. 
his little tongue sticking out. A little pugalicious. They must like their tongue sticking out. A little Frenchy. How do we know? This is a quiz. Rounded ears. And if you could see his legs, they look like tree stumps. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna read this before I go to bed tonight. Another little Frenchie. See the rounded ears? There he is again. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. She spoils me with dog stuff. They are, she spoils me with all kinds of stuff, but I love the dog stuff, so pretty. And some different magazines. Things she cut out for me. Oh, yes. Watch the sunrise at the lake. At a lake. Doesn't matter what lake. It kind of does. The big lake is very different from the inland lakes. The big lake is more like the beach versus the inland lakes. But that is gorgeous. I love the paddle. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that, that is just heaven, heaven on earth. That is my happy place. No neighbors, no neighbors anywhere. Yes, please. Sweet things, right for the picking. Oh, cool, lighthouse probably. And, oh no, blueberries. Yeah, blueberries, she's got a blueberry dress on. I'm pretty sure Wyman's are blueberry. I think, I think. I'm gonna say, oh, that's cool too, though. Hex appeal. Ha! Ah, Samantha. Bewitched. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put that in as a tip in so I can have both sides in my glue book or whatever project that goes in. Yay. More kayaking happening. Beautiful time to kayak at sunset. Mm mm mm. Trader Joe's. This will be something cool to read too. What fun stuff they have. I've never been to a Trader Joe's. I don't think we have anything, anyone, I don't think we have one anywhere nearby. But what fun Tim Holtzy sort of illustrations. Recipes. Tables and graphs. <laughs> and so I ask you, Your Honor, to declare once and for all that cranberry sauce does not need to come from a can. Oh, the big sip. Look at that. Trim. I'd make fun faux washi. Corkscrew wine glass. Corkscrew champagne glass. Corkscrew wine glass. <laughs> oh, I love this. Do they mail it? You must pick them up. I don't see an address, so you must pick them up when you go. That is so cool. Puzzles. Oh, I love it. We have something not nearly this cool, but it's called, I think it's called The Good Life. And I, ha I, I have one here because I was going to tear it up for images for glue book. I'll show you one of these days. It's pretty cool, but it's nowhere near this cool. And some fun and different magazines than what I have. Discover Science. Such fun things. I have my Tesla pictures that she sent. I finally found a home for them right above where I work. In fact, I told my mom about them. She asked me why they were there, and I had all kinds of good exp explanations about Tesla. Look at that tornado whipping up. Oh, my God. Boom. Wow. Fun. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Asheville. Explore Asheville. Travel magazines have such fun things in them. Destination magazines. Oh, look at there. Oh, that water and power. And what is this one? National Parks Conservation. Oh, kayaks. I just saw another kayak in there and a canoe. Lots of outdoorsy beautiful stuff to play with. Oh, 
this is one we were thinking about doing, I think, at, for Christmas or fall. But it was all food. It was all mostly food. And I, I did not want an all food glue book. Funny. Next time we did it was an all bird glue book. So we could have done all food. You know. Beautiful. I think this is one of her freebie picks. What is this? Oh, I think this is one that Jean had sent to Amy. <clears throat> All about Britain. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But all kinds of different ads, you know, things are different there. Scotland and ads for Scotland. We don't get many ads for Scotland in our Michigan magazines, you know? All the old cars. Britain, Ireland, Europe. Looks like Ireland, but I can't be sure. How beautiful is this? Lots of good stuff. Oh, look at all these numbers to use. Purple, yes please. And yes, at the very bottom, here are all the magazines that I sent to Jean. Excuse me, let me back up. I harvested these magazines. I harvested these magazines. There looks like more here <laughs> than what I harvested. Might be a couple extra in here. Most of these I, I harvested. Then I sent them to Jean Bainey and she harvested. And then she sent what was left to Amy and she harvested them. And now they are back with me and I'm going to harvest them. Not today, though, because I have to be in a certain mood or I don't pick anything. I just skip by it all. So today's not the day for harvesting. I have a similar bag here from Jean Bainey. I will show you what's in that bag, and I will harvest the magazines on another video. And this sparkly beauty is from Jean. Look how cute they are. Got this pretty, pretty stamp or marker. This might have gone to Amy, or come from Amy first. Her Christmas card, and I miss it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look at the tiny little brads and the textured crimped paper and the little snowman. He's so cute. Holiday greetings, love, Jean. Thank you, Jean. Merry Christmas. <laughs> A fun airmail packet uh, envelope. I don't get those very often. Especially with different languages on it. Look at that. Very cool. What do we have here? In this stuff. All kinds of goodies. Holy smokes. Ah, <laughs> yay. Beer. I'm in. I'm all in. That's all. How fun is that? Hopjack. Yeah, yeah. Pale ale. That is a hoot. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Another a brewing company M magazine. Oh, she must have had a... Hang on. Look at all the beer goodies. <laughs> ah, this is great. I love it. Ale Cat. Ice Axe. Mount Hood Brewing Company. Holy smokes. This is awesome. Because don't you know, I, ha I have a project. Apricot Wheat Ale. Amber Ale. Portland. Oh, these are fantastic. They're all cut out of magazines. You did a lot of cutting just for me. I love it. And on the backs, there's all there's other stuff too. <laughs> More beer related goodies. Oh, I just love all this. This reminds me of our hashtag using the same images. Ducks giving. Nothing says Christmas like ducks and hot whiskey. <laughs> or Christmas. Hair of the dog. Adam Hardy Old Wood Ale. Oh, these are fantastic. Thank you, Jean. Oh, beautiful uh, elephants. Punch outs. Aren't they beautiful? Wood. Kind of a fun pattern, and that beautiful sort of batik stencil. Oh, I remember these. Yeah, for voicemail. There were while you were out notes. <laughs> oh, more beer stuff. Yay. Oh, look at 
him and his kilt. What is he drinking? Oh, I can't see it from here. Something extra creamy. I'll have to get close on that one. And the fun homemade envelope, E equals MC square. Big Einstein fan. Yes, please. How cool is that? I love making homemade envelopes and I love, you know, isn't this fun to get mail in this rather than just a plain old plain Jane? And what did, I pulled these out and then dropped them for the beer goodies. Cool little tags. Oh, I think a little red hat, red and purple, maybe Victorian lady carrying some packages and care and walking a dog. So cute. Teeny tiny little bugger. Aw, boo. <laughs> Those are awesome. And let's see some old illustrations. Wow. Dogger. The Harrier. <laughs> Newfoundland. Boy, they sure look different than our Newfies. Wow, that doesn't even look like our Newfies. Irish Greyhound. Big tall boy. Oh, Shaper Right. Distributor copy. Yeah. The good old days, we wrote things down. Oh, that's adorable. And white buttons. That's a nice, simple, fast idea you can make a whole bunch of at Christmas time. Either hang them on the tree or use them as tags. So cool. Some beautiful gingham tags or labels. Let's stay home. Yes, please. I'm in. If we're not going anywhere, I'm in. I'm all in. And a really cool cluster with an old library checkout card. Class in 1978. Look at that little smile. Huh? He's got his football gear on for his picture. Well, that's fun. What a fun cluster. And oh, look, another artful blogging book. I absolutely adored the first one she sent. I read every page and looked at every picture. And this one will be the same. So gorgeous. People do so many different things and are passionate about so many different things you are enough say it with me i am enough mm -hmm. some would say i am more than enough <laughs> you can just take that attitude and go home girl mm -hmm. yep it's here with me all the time i i don't leave the house without it hmm <laughs> This is beautiful. I did not go to cutting out that other book. I don't know if I can, but there's so many beautiful things in that I would like to cut up and use. <clears throat> I imagine eventually they may get used. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Jean. That is amazing. So okay, so I had to stop recording <laughs> and regroup because none of this looked familiar and I thought maybe something is wrong but nothing is wrong it's all coming back to me now I harvested magazines and sent them to Amy and when Amy harvested them some some there wasn't much left to harvest so she included a couple of extras for Jean so she'd have something to harvest and I think the same thing happened with Jean in that she harvested something to death and ended up giving a couple of extras so these have clearly been harvested i i'm pretty sure the opera news came from amy but in here is an aarp or what's left of an aarp i remember sending this catalog to amy food magazine that i may have sent to amy national parks i'm not sure where that came from i think probably amy audubon but down here, I had a Smithsonian, and there's a Birds and Blooms remnant in here, and a Ducks Unlimited in here <laughs> that I do remember sending. So it's all kind of coming back to me now. This 
I think this pile is what I'm supposed to harvest for the final time. But I'm going to do my best to figure out which ones I sent them and do those first. And the others would just be sort of bonus harvesting. I'll re-harvest this one because that's been harvested. Here we go. A birds and blooms that I had sent. A consumer report that I had sent. So... I do recognize some of them. The things are coming back to me. Ah, the Ducks Unlimited. Whoosh, the other pack. Oh, yeah, the round robin got kind of confusing for sure. I have to revisit the videos. It's been so long. So that's fun. What do we do with the harvested magazines? All the stuff that we get from the harvesting that we're doing. Well, all kinds of things, mainly for glue books and different projects themed projects. I have loads of those that I'm collecting for, so I look for all kinds of images in the magazines that I harvest, not just for glue booking, but primarily for glue booking, and they're fun to share. Uh, like Jean cut out all this wonderful beer stuff for me, um, and Amy cut out the kayaking and the lake stuff for me, and they've both sent me dogs. Janet Nash has sent me dogs. So it's fun to kind of share in happy mail, too. If you see something that is just right for somebody else, clip it and send it to them. Make a little collection and send them some happy mail. We could all use a little bit more happy mail. And I'd love to know, would you put down in the comments if you're going to do a harvested mag swap? I just think it's been great fun. It's been a little confusing with three of us, but we, we smart. We... We got it figured out. We could do this. It just went round robin, round robin. And I know there are things that I've seen in the magazines that I've sent that I hope are still there. Like, I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe. And just flipping through today, I found several things that I'm glad are there because I'm going to cut them out for projects that I have. I've already seen things in these well-loved magazines that I can use. So... Even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you're not going to make videos, do you have a crafting buddy who also does glue books? Or perhaps you're connecting with somebody on YouTube via the comments? Reach out to them and say, hey, I have a lot of magazines. How about I swap some with you and we can do a harvested mag swap? We'd love to know about it. Tag us in. Use the hashtag, hashtag harvested mag swap and let us know because it has been great fun. Looking forward to harvesting these soon, which in my world is eventually. I hope you'll come back for that. Please go love up your beastlies. Take really good care of them because they take really good care of us. Watch I get the lake. Out for now.